Videos that are well shot are usually well lit, whether you use video lights or depend on available light. Know that a correctly exposed shot, not too dark, not too bright, is key to good looking videos. Hi, I'm Baron. The Sony AX100 4K Handycam is packed with pro level features. Let me show you how to use the exposure settings on your AX100. In this scene over here, I'll show you how to properly expose your videos using the AX100's exposure controls. Okay, now first of all, this image is a little bit too dark. And by looking at my exposure values over here, I see that they can still be adjusted a lot uh, for an ideal footage. Okay, I'm looking at my gain over here. My gain is at 18 dB and the A icon over here shows that the gain has been set to auto and also the gain is a little bit too high at 18 dB so I'll just press my gain button and then I will use the control dial I will maybe reduce the gain the higher the gain the more noisy an image so I like to reduce it so the image doesn't get too noisy but because I've reduced it so much uh, it becomes really dark so I notice over here, um, I've got a shutter speed of 600 and 600 is a little bit too high for videos. We try to have it at 50, 1 over 50 shutter speed all the time. I'll click on my shutter speed button over here. Okay, then I will click on my control dial and move it. Oops, I'll move it, make it, um, I'll make it slower, a slower shutter speed of 50. Now that's ideal. And then I'll look at my iris over here or my aperture it's at 5.6 um, I think I want to make it even wider giving a bit more light to the subject over here and also make the depth of field a little bit shallower so I'll click on my iris and then I will open it up okay make the F number smaller okay now it's at 3.1 so I think this image is uh, quite well lit up except for the background which is a little bit too overexposed but at least my subject is well lit up. Okay next, when I look at my three properties over here, maybe I'd like my gain to be on auto. So to set one of these properties to auto so that I don't have to change it, I'll let the camera decide what to do with it. Or if I'd like my aperture to be controlled by the camera, and I'll control the rest of the property myself. Uh, now let's say I want the gain to be controlled by the camera. So I will click on the gain button once and a second time. Now when we see the A icon over here, it means that this property is already on auto, is controlled by the camera. Now in this case, let's say I want the camera to control my iris. So I'll just click on my iris button once and twice. So based on the image that the camera sees over here it will decide what values to set for the aperture and the gain so you control the shutter yourself so i'll click on the shutter button over here and then i'll just adjust my control dial there we go see so that's how we set the exposure values on the x100 very flexible because we can control each of these properties individually from each other and we are done have a look at our other tutorials and films make your videos look great with proper exposure settings happy 4k shooting